So we actually have a trial that's open right now with that combination. So ibrutinib um, for three months and then we're adding on venetoclax um, for up to two years of the combination treatment. I'm very enthusiastic and optimistic about that combination. There's laboratory rationale for the combination and there's clinical rationale for the combination. For example, ibrutinib works very well at reducing lymph nodes. It's not as effective at clearing blood or bone marrow of disease. So patients usually are in partial remission because they still have disease in their blood and bone marrow. In contrast, venetoclax is really effective at clearing out blood and bone marrow. Um, and it's less effective at shrinking nodes down to the less than 1.5 centimeter size that they need to be to, con to be considered a complete responder. So ibrutinib working very well in lymph nodes, like venetoclax working very well in blood and bone marrow, they're clinically um, uh, they're clinically complementary uh, agents. So I'm enthusiastic and, and very interested to see what happens with those combinations.